Hello friends. Good morning. Have a great day. Welcome to our English class. Myself, Tamanna Rahman, Assistant Teacher of Dhaka Match Industry Secondary School. Hope you all are fit and fine by the grace of Allah. And yes, I am fine too. In this corona pandemic situation, the whole country is struggling with teachers, students, and lack of education. So, the online class is on only for you. It will make the connection with all of you and also help you to maintain the flow of study. So let's have a look to the new lesson from the book English for Today of Class 6, Lesson 15, and which is named Our Pride. After completing the lesson, students will be able to read and understand text, ask and answer questions, write short paragraph, and participate in short dialogues and conversation on familiar topics. But before starting the lesson, we need to know some important words with their meaning. So, let's go. The first new word is annually. Annually, which means yearly. Annually, yearly. Surrender. The next one is surrender, which means give up or submit. Surrender, give up or submit. The next one is heroic, which means brave or daring or bold. Heroic, brave, daring or bold. And the next one is liberation, which means free or release or discharge. Liberation, discharge. The words are annually, heroic, surrender, liberation. We have some more words. Endure, which means experience or meet. Endure, which means experience or meet. Independence, self-government or Self-rule. Self-government or self-rule is independence. Please. Which means promise or undertake. Please means promise or undertake. And the last one is pride. Means honor or joy or self-respect. Pride means self Respect. So the words are endure, independence, please, and pride. Friends, now let's have a look at the passes. For the people of Bangladesh, March is a month of unforgettable memories of pride as well as of sorrow and grief. It is the month of proud memories because this month is marked with the historic speech of the father of nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on 7th March 1971. When he urged everyone to be prepared for independence. In the early hours of the 26th March, shortly before his arrest by the Pakistani army, Bangabandhu finally declared 
finally declared independence of Bangladesh. Now, 26th March is our Independence Day, which we celebrate annually with pride and joy. But March is also a month of sad memories for us. On the 25th March, 1971, the Pakistani army subbed upon the Bangalis. They killed many unarmed and innocent men, women, and children in Dhaka. The Bangalis did not let it go unchallenged. They started resisting the Pakistani army and the war of liberation began. On the 16th December of the same year, a new nation independent Bangladesh was born. This is why December 16 is our victory day when the Pakistani army surrendered unconditionally. We, the Bangalis, celebrate our victory day by remembering the roles of our fearless freedom fighter. On the other hand, we sadly remember all the sufferings that our people endured during the liberation war. We pay deep respect to the martyrs who gave their lives for the independence of Bangladesh. Along with celebrating our Victory Day every year, we should make a plea to work unitedly to build the Shonar Bangla that Bangabandhu dreamed of. This is the end of our passes, but we have a matching. There are some words in column A and we have some more words in column B. So the words of column A will have to be matched with the verse of column B. The word of column B, which is the similar meaning with column A, will be the answer. You will have to write down the verse in your exercise copy. This is almost the end of our today's lesson my friends, but before going, I have a very important message for you, and that is about the coronavirus precaution tips. That means when we will go out, we need to wear the face mask, and we need to wash our hands frequently with soap and water. We need to freshen up, we need to wash our hands before eating and after eating too. And we need to wash our hands when it is dirty. Friends, do not touch your eyes, nose or mouth with dirty hands. And you can use tissue when cough or sneeze. But do not forget to put the tissue 
but do not forget to use that tissue when you cough and sneeze and put the tissue to the dustbin. This is the end of today's lesson. So, friends, hope you enjoy the class and if you have a problem, you can ask a question to the comment box. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay home, stay fine. Thank you.